So I wanted to reiterate with you guys an angle. An angle, again, is the measure of rotation of two rays, right? We have been using theta. I have talked about theta in terms of degrees, and I've talked about degree uh, radian, or theta in terms of radians, OK? Um, now, we've always just talked about the measure, the rotation of them. We have the sides. However, what we started talking about with radians, though, was we started talking about our inclusion of a circle, right? Especially to talk about radians, like that length along that length along the circle was basically a radian, like being a radius being wrapped around there, right? That's how we came up with the definition of if you rotate two angles where it goes to that length of a radius around, that's one radian. Well, if you guys remember, we know that this is the radius. That's the angle. That length of that radius wrapped around, there was actually a name for that. That was your arc. And for every arc, we're going to have an arc length. Now, that arc length could be, it could be one radian. It could be two radians. It could be three radians, right? It could be four radians. It could be pi radians. But there is a formula for us to be able to find arc length, or at least a relationship between the arc length, radius, and pi, right? Because we kind of talked about that as far as in your radian. Well, that relationship is s equals r times theta, where s is the arc length r is the radius, and theta is our angle. Yes, this was covered in your geometry. Okay, The one little thing do you guys need to remember about this, though, is theta in this type of problem is only works for theta when theta is in degree form. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly the opposite of what I just said. This only works when theta is in radians. So please make sure you write that. Theta must be in radians. So to be the mean math teacher, why don't you guys go ahead, and if I said, why don't you guys go ahead and find the arc length if theta is 75 degrees. And my radius is 2.5. Why don't you guys see if you guys can use that formula to figure that out? 